example. Here's another example. This one, a company wants to basically put whatever they're making in a box. This box has to have no more than 500 square inches of material. Like in other words, this panel right here would be length times width x times x, and this panel right here would be x times h. So you got your x squared and your xh, and this up here would be xh. And anyway, you get the idea. Surface area, all the paintable parts basically of this box is what surface area is. So that 500 is going to be a top and a bottom. So two x squares. There's one here and one there. And there's going to be four of these xh's all the way around the side. So there's a formula that kind of relates to this problem. They want max volume. So max volume is very important. That tells me what's to be optimized. The volume is going to be optimized. The volume of this box is length times width times height. So x times x times h. And I have these two equations. This one is my primary, or my equation to be optimized, and this is my secondary. What I need to do is reduce one of these variables out of this primary. So I'm going to come over here and solve this for x or h. And h would be easiest to solve for, because I could move the 2x squared and divide by 4x. And that's what h is. Uh, and then I'll put this in for H over here. Now, I could go ahead and do the derivative of this with a product rule and go on and on and on with that. And that's going to be a little bit more difficult than just cleaning this up and not using the product rule. Because you remember, the maximum volume will occur when the derivative of this volume function is zero because the volume function will go up and then level off and then the volume will go back down again as my dimensions change. How about I clean this up a little bit uh, which would be I can take out an X from the top and the bottom and distribute this and divide everything by 4. So distributing this X would be 500X minus 2X cubed all over 4 and I could make uh, two separate terms out of this, which would be 125x minus 1 half x cubed. And this is pretty easy to take the derivative. This is just a polynomial. So my derivative is 125 minus 3 halves x squared. Okay, and again, I want to set this derivative equal to 0. So 125 equals 3 halves x squared. So 250 over 3 is x squared. Divide each side by 3 halves or multiply each side by 2 thirds. And then square root each side. So plus or minus 250 over 3 is what x is, but we can ignore the negative because you're not going to have a negative length. And that's about 9.129. I've done that ahead of time for your convenience. So having one of the measurements, which is actually the other one also, see I'm going to have 9.129 by 9.129 by some height. And all I have to do to find the height is use my other equation, my secondary equation. It's usually the one you'll want to plug back into to find your other variable. So 500 equals 2 times 9.129 squared plus 4 times 9.129 h and you move this over here and divide each side by 4 times 9.129 and you'll get h is also 9.129 now that doesn't always happen it happens in this case because I'm maximizing volume of a box and the maximum volume you can get out of a box is a cube now in every problem it doesn't happen that way it's just like in the problem before with the area of a fence it happened to be a square because a square is maximum area. But if you change this to have a river, you remember at the end of that, you wouldn't get a square. You might get a rectangle because you're you no longer have two L's and two W's in the fencing problem.
in this problem, it's because I have a top and a bottom. I have a lid. If this, some problems say I need a square bottom, but no lid on this box, which would totally change this problem. Because then this secondary equation would be 1x squared and 4xhs. I would only have a bottom, not a top, if I didn't need a lid. So it only happened to be the dimensions are 9.129 by 9.129 by 9.129 because this is a perfect cube. You change this problem a little bit and you still need to go back and solve for this other part because these may not all three be the same number. And that's optimization.